yes right so we are doing question number nine here now ninth question is just about the with the help of same i mean paper sent golden form we will solve it but the, before that this is given the volume of the solid of the solid generated by the revolution of the area bounded by the curve r equal to f theta in this case this is polar okay uh, polar form of the equation so polar form of the equation when is given then what is the volume of revolution of the solid area okay uh, made by this curve r equal to f theta in this case okay so and here between the radii vectors theta equal to alpha and theta equal to beta about the initial line this is initial line so let me take here ox is the initial line ox is initial line the initial line okay o is the pole here o is the pole okay and t let me take r theta coordinates and uh, q is r per delta r and theta per delta theta this is q point here this p and q are the neighboring points on the uh, arc ab okay that we have taken and this is alpha angle this is beta angle this are taken beta angle so let me take everything so here let us take the arc arc a b of the curve r equal to f theta where p and q are neighboring points are neighboring points on a b the arc a b the arc okay on the arc a b having p coordinates r theta and q is r per delta r and theta per delta theta okay so therefore angle let me write here angle p o this is theta angle p o q p o x sorry angle p o x equal to theta angle okay and angle q o here q o x equal to theta per delta theta therefore angle p uh, q o p therefore angle q o p is equal to angle delta theta this is delta theta only this is only delta theta where i think angle this is delta theta angle difference of this minus this okay that is delta theta and here a o b is theta 2 is alpha here and uh, angle a o x is equal to alpha angle and angle b o x b o x equal to angle beta here so between alpha to beta alpha to beta we have to find out the volume generated by this solid but this before that i have taken this elementary <laughs> okay elementary i mean uh, sector o p q so element area of the elementary sector a p q area of the elementary this is elementary strip or this is sector here is equal to this area is equal to half into op let me take into oq into sine of angle why is this sine of angle because this will be if i drop perpendicular from p to oq it will meet at this point and this this length this height of this will be oq into sine theta okay because this is perpendicular oq into sine of angle delta theta angle q o p this is q o p angle here angle q o p that means 1.2 o p is r here into o q is r plus delta r <coughs> sine of angle delta theta it will give us 1.2 r into r square into delta theta why r into delta theta neglecting here first of all let me take here this 
This is R into R per delta R into delta theta. Neglecting higher powers of neglecting higher powers of delta theta. Try to understand. So sine delta theta will be delta theta minus delta theta q upon factorial 3 plus delta theta whole 5 upon factorial 5 etc. We have neglected the higher powers of delta theta here. We have opened this and this is equal to 1.2 into sorry still it is r here r into r is now r square into delta theta. Still it is r into r per delta r we have written totally. Now this is delta theta. Now if I multiply r into r into delta theta, now delta r delta theta is neglected. Neglecting powers of smaller values. Powers of smaller values. Your delta theta delta r are smaller values. So neglecting them. This is area of the <coughs> this element is elementary sector. This is area. This is first question. Let me write here. So this is the area of this elementary step. Therefore, area of triangle OPQ OPQ is equal to 1.2 into R square into delta theta. Now OG here OG is the uh, length of the centroid of this uh, of this triangle. OG equal to 2.3 into R approximately nearly. This is we know that 2.3 into R. This is the length of the centroid OG. OG is this. Okay, so if I find out GM, GM is to be calculated, which is y bar here let me take this is y bar and this is x bar here coordinates are x bar and y bar so here therefore gm is equal to this is equal to gm is what perpendicular in this triangle which is theta is having angle so it will give us og into this is og into sine theta that means sine of angle POX angle POX okay so this is giving us this will give us here this GM I'm calculating this right triangle OM this right angle OMG OMG is this OG GM is OG into sine of angle POX POX angle this is theta angle this is OG is here, I have just calculated this 2 by 3 R into this is sine theta. Along with POP is sine theta. With GM is this is the perpendicular uh, sorry, this is y bar here. This is y bar. Or y bar is called this is y bar here. Okay, so this we have calculated in length of the centroid from the line OX. So this will be applied. Now what is the volume generated by the Therefore, volume by Pepper's theorem, by Pepper's and Goulding theorem or Goulding's theorem, we have the volume of surface of revolution or solid of revolution, surface of revolution. of OPQ triangle OPQ in this case OPQ now this if I enlarge from OAB okay OPQ to OAB this is the R curve area okay OAB is equal to this is area of the triangle area of the surface or area of the triangle in this case area of triangle OAB in this case we have taken OAP sorry what I'm writing here no triangle OAB if I write then we have to write the limits that will be there okay so let me 
first write OAB. Okay, let me take OAB here. So if I write this area and limits applied alpha to beta, then this OAB will be included. So area of the uh, AB, not triangle, but the surface of the field OAB of the field OAB, all right, into circumference again, circumference of the circle, circumference of the circle generated by, generated by the centroid, by the centroid G here, by the centroid of it, by the centroid of it, centroid of it means centroid of this whole figure. So that will give us, let me write here, this is by bar here, so we have to write that volume therefore totally volume is equal to V volume is equal to first area limits are now alpha to beta we have to apply the whole and this area was 2 by 3 so this is 1.2 R square into delta theta this is area here of the triangle into y bar is here 2 by 3 R 2 by 3 R into this by bar here. Sorry, this 2 by 3 R into sine theta into 2 pi must also be there. I'm sorry, this is by bar here. I'm sorry, it will be 2 pi into this value. O GM, let me first write GM here. 2 pi into gm into delta theta we will write the delta theta let me write here the d theta now so it will be limits alpha to beta okay 1.2 this 2 to cancel out this is pi into r square pi into r square into gm into gm is this value this is 2 by 3 Sorry, this pi is okay. We have taken 2 by 3 into r into sine theta into this d theta. Try to understand. Gm is this by bar. By bar is 2 by 3 r sine theta. 2 by 3 r sine theta. This value gm pi we have taken here. Pi into r square into 2 by 3. So it will give us. Let me now write it here. <coughs> Therefore, volume obtained is volume of the revolution of this area surface area OAB is equal to given by we are taking V here is 2 by 3 pi RQ is here this is alpha to beta this is alpha to beta here pi into pi we are taking outside 2 by 3 pi we are taking r into r is r r square into r is r q into sin theta into d theta so this is the answer which we applied in case of volume of revolution in case of polar equations which we have done in previous lecture series but this is with the help of Pepper's and Goulding theorem which is important is Pepper's and Goulding theorem is also given the same same problem here so set tool area we have calculated or but with the help of Pepper's theorem, then volume of revolution is also with the help of Pepper's theorem. This is 2 by 3 pi r q into sin theta d theta b used to calculate. Okay, so this is the formula which we have applied with the help of Pepper's and Goulding theorem. Important one. Tenth question is just a part of this. Here in question number 10, we are given. Let me talk about question number 10. What does it say? Now in this case, again it says. The volume of the solid generated by the revolution of the area bounded by the curve r equal to f theta same and the radii vectors theta equal to alpha to theta equal to beta about the line theta equal to pi by 2. Now here this is the line theta equal to pi by 2 means O by e axis in this case. So theta equal to pi by 2 means 
have to find out GL here. Here, GL again, GL equal to OM here, equal to OM. In question number 10, I am talking about the same area, only this R cos theta will be there. In GL equal to OM here, OM in this right triangle. So, therefore, OM is equal to this is perpend this is base here based upon hypotenuse that means cos theta so this will be OG into cos theta it OG into cos of angle P yeah this is cos of angle this one P O X P O X is theta P O X this is OG OG is here we talk about this is OG is 2.3 into R into cos theta OG is 2.3 we calculate this is OG OG is the cent length the length of the centroid from the origin of this triangle so this is 2 by 3 R B to approximately 2 by 3 R into cos theta this is the value here so in place of uh, GM we have to put GL here GL is equal to OM OM is this value Therefore, the volume of solid of generation in this case about the line that will be equal to what? Let me write. This is question number 10 now. Tenth question is also from the same figure. Figure is same, but this is the line here in this case. Central length of the central is x bar here. This is x bar. So x bar is equal to this value 2 by 3 r into cos theta. This is the only difference. Therefore, this is question number 10 here. Volume of solid of revolution, solid of revolution of the surface area, area or surface. This is surface here. This surface OAB. OAB area we have to calculate by paper cent by paper theorem. This is by paper cent Goulding theorem that we calculate and Goulding theorem by paper cent Goulding theorem. We have this is area of the surface, area of the surface in this case, this is OAB. That will be right here into circumference circum, circumference now in this case we are revolving this curve about this line with theta equal to pi by 2 at which theta equal to pi by 2 that means y axis in this case this axis theta equal to pi by 2 about the line theta equal to pi by 2 that point so for that this distance of the centroid we have to calculate. So x bar we have calculated. This is x bar here. This x bar equal to this. Okay, so this is circumference of the circle generated by the centroid. By the centroid. Okay, so this will give us this value. X bar is this. Only x bar we have to replace. What is that area? If this area we calculated, it was 1.2 r square into delta theta or d theta. Let me take 1.2 r square into d theta of OAB. If I put limits alpha to beta, then this total area is calculated. Into d theta is this into circumference is 2 pi into this x bar 2 pi x bar let me take okay, so this will give us now 1.2 and this is 2 pi here let me take 2 pi out 2 pi alpha to beta this is r square and x bar is this value into 2 by 3 r cos theta into d theta this is r into r square r to the 2 to cancel out we have obtained this value what is that let me write it here 
therefore its volume will be 2 by 3 2 by 3 pi this pi is there limits alpha to theta here it is r q r square into r r q into cos theta into d theta this is the volume of the solid generated by revolution of this arc in this case between theta equal to alpha to theta equal to beta about the centroid of this about the line at theta equal to pi by 2 so we have to multiply by the length of the centroid by the circle generated by the centroid of this of this uh, curve here of this area here so this is x bar in this case x bar previously we took y bar y bar was this gl now in this case gl we have taken gl is x bar so this is the area the volume here this volume is finally this answer this is question number 10 completed okay so question 10 and uh, a 9th 9th and 10th question these two questions 9 and 10 they are having different position first is about the initial line this is to be revolved about the line at theta equal to pi by 2 okay these two questions we have done in case of uh, okay problems based on polar equations in case of volume of solid of revolution volume of solid of solids of revolution in case of okay volume of solid revolution we did these two we apply these two questions we applied there now this is very much easily proved with the help of Peppers and uh, Goulding theorem. Peppers and Goulding theorem has contributed to these two formulae. Okay, these are the two important formulae. Volume of solid of revolution in case of polar equations, in case of uh, about the, the line is ready, uh, initial line, first first line about the initial line and second is about the line at theta equal to pi by 2. These two volumes we have calculated with the help of Peppers and Goulding theorem which is very obvious now. And these two formulas, this is first formula in question number 10 2 by 3 pi r cube cos theta d theta limits alpha to beta limits maybe any theta value here theta is alpha at a at b it is theta equal to beta between alpha to beta is the total volume of the solid generated by this after revolution that solid generated by revolution of this value this uh, surface o a b about this initial line and then about this line at theta equal to pi by 2. Tenth question is about theta equal to pi by 2. And ninth is about initial line. These two questions are very now, very much lucid, clear. Okay, it's like clear now. These questions are based on Peps and Goulding theorem, which I just not. Uh, okay, we applied these two formulae in the previous lecture series, but that was not so much clear as it is clear now with the help of Peps and Goulding theorem. Because we multiply the uh, length of the center or of the or, or the cir circumference of the circuit generated by the center into the area of the this space there's a volume of solid generation. okay so this ends the total uh, i mean interior calculus are completed now okay this is the last last lecture series in case of integral calculus next i'll take one more okay uh, playlist uh, topic of playlist so that i'll contribute in the next lecture series so that i'll take after some time okay that's it